It is your birthday, so it is fitting that I'm writing about sheds again. Sometimes I try to keep you in that shed, as if I can pretend you will come out again. Dry, dusty hands, roughly ruffling my hair, arm over the chair where I'm sat, miles away. Thinking about you is sometimes passive, like flickering lights, and sometimes active, like re-watching the video of you in hospital, wondering why it's the only one I have, and why I have written more poems now than when you were alive, writing this now, instead of writing about sheds eight by six feet, deep as a grave.